Mrs. Wiggin is here. What is your mother going to do to me today? No. She wants to mouse Michelle. You killed her son. I wouldn't want to give her any more reasons to want to hurt you if I were you. Oh, dear, he is hurting me, dear. I was a prisoner last night in that mausoleum you call home. Uh, I noticed you didn't sleep that well. I'm sorry, it's a little difficult to relax with an armed guard outside the door. You'll sleep, eventually. Not with you. Okay, just please keep your voice. You know, a church wedding might make this marriage look real, but it never will be. Yeah, he I made that... Love you. Fine. He made that pretty clear. But don't forget, this marriage is the only reason that you're alive. If you call this living. Michelle, look, I know my mother. And if you don't start acting like the blessing bride I told her you are, you, your family, your friends, and your beloved Jesse are all going to be in a lot of danger. Okay? We're very pleased to be hosting this party, Mrs. Santos. This is a very important day. We're celebrating my son's recent marriage with his new in-laws. That's wonderful. Congratulations to you all. Thank you. Yes. We are all very happy. Aren't we, dear? True love has one out. I wouldn't be here if I weren't so much in love. Yeah. Where is she? Yes, she's not hurt. Thank God she's all right. How did you say that? What Where? did you say? She's at the Santos house. I talked my way in there and I found her there with Danny. Mick's brother? Yeah, the same guy who's looking for Mick's killer. What'd you do to get her out of there? I told her that the cops knew everything was self-defense and that they would protect her. But Danny wouldn't let you take her? She wanted to stay. She said she liked it there. <laughs> make any sense at all. No, and guess what? There's more. Danny and Michelle are married. No! She says they're in love. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. This can't be true. It can't be true. I mean, she doesn't love them. Obviously, Danny's making her say all of this stuff. I'm calling Frank Cooper. There's got to be something the police can do. Yeah, what? Who are you? This guy works for Carmen Santos. Mrs. Santos is looking forward to meeting the family for new daughter-in-law. Daughter? This is going way too fast. Mrs. Santos requests you join her at the country club to help celebrate this blessed event. That's something that you're looking forward to about going home. You must miss your friends. I guess. Well, they must miss you. You know, you don't have to try to make me feel better. I just know that going home is really hard for you. But I'm screwing up your life. So you want me to go back and your life to go back to normal? No. I want you to go back because you should be with your father. He needs you as much as you need him. Whatever. And you're not getting out of it that easy, Tanya lady, because I ate all the coffee up. Very funny. So I guess I'll see you next Christmas or something. Even I know this is incredibly difficult for you to believe. But we are going to talk on the phone all the time. I am going to write you constantly. I want to know what's going on in your life. As long as you promise to tell me what's going on in yours. Deal. <laughs> you, you know, this is so stupid. Why is my dad flying all the way back here to get me when I'm old enough to fly by myself. Maybe because after the last trick he pulled, he wants to make sure that you actually get on the plane safely. Yeah, he always wants me to be safe. Yes, he does. You know what? It's going to be a little while before Philip and your dad get back. Don't we to whip up some lunch? How about a grilled cheese? You know, um, no offense or anything, but if you're trying to cook, I may not need cough medicine to get me sick. Little. <laughs> All right, fine. Peanut butter and jelly it is. Be careful. On moldy bread. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. Hello? Uh, no, this is her daughter. Yes, sure. Um, well, hold on. She's a little busy right now, actually. 
You're goading her. You're goading her. You're trying to make her feel uncomfortable. I'm trying to make her feel comfortable. That's uh, why I invited her family. She is not taking it that way, and neither am I. You're, you're acting like you don't trust her, Mama. Why should I? Because she is my wife. Oh, she doesn't love you. Stop trying to deny it. I know you think you can make her, but she's only here to save herself and her boyfriend. She's already killed one of my sons. I will not let her do it to you. I'm not going to let you take her away from me, Matilda's here. Because I want her here. She belongs with me. You're really in love with her, aren't you? You're in love with a girl who killed your brother. I know the value of our family. You've taught me that. But you are not going to intimidate her, and I will not let you scare her off. She is my wife, and you are going to honor that, whether you like it or not. blessed about that wedding. Danny forced her into it. Those kids are in love. Oh, if they're so in love, then why'd they get married in secret? Probably to avoid you sticking your nose where it's not wanted. Yeah. My sister are going to be at the so-called get-together. Of course. Yes. Mrs. Santos was hoping you could all sit down and talk about the big event. What big event? I thought you knew. She's planning a big church wedding so the kids could get hitched in style. All right, buddy, that's it. It's time for you to go. So... I'll tell my boss she can expect you. Yeah, you do that. Oh, uh, this is a private party. Family only. You understand? Yeah. I got it. I'll get a coat. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Abby. Where are you I going? I'm going with you. No, it's too dangerous. Abby, I'm going alone. That's, That's ridiculous. We're myself. all going. Mita, this is not a good I idea. I know all about the Santos, and I'm not the least bit nervous. I'm going to see Michelle, and you're not going to stop me. All right, fine. We'll all go. Let's, let's go. What's going on? Why are you here? Just, just come is on in. Jesse will right? explain Wait. it to you. We, we have to go. Is she okay? What's wrong, Jesse? Carmen Santos invited them to the country club to celebrate Michelle's sham of a wedding. Oh, God. No, but it's not real, and I'm going to go prove it. Wait, you were invited too? No, family only. But I'm gonna go and find another way in there and see Michelle again. Jesse, you can't. You're gonna get yourself killed. It's true, isn't it? You're pregnant. <laughs> Great news. But are you ever going to tell me? We haven't told anyone. But I am not anyone. I'm your daughter. But maybe that's the point. You especially didn't want me in to know. Susan, Philip and I wanted some time to deal with this ourselves first. So much for telling each other everything. I was going to tell you, but the situation is a little complicated right because now. Because of me. I'm just this one big complication. No, you're not. Yo, your plan almost worked. You almost had me out of town before I could find out. There is no plan. And you knew I'd be jealous. You knew I would be jealous, too. And so I would create a scene and mess up your whole entire life. And listen, listen. And you weren't going to tell me. You, you were going to be one of the first people that I told, I swear. After I was gone. So I wouldn't create a scene like this. That's not it. But this one's a keeper, right? You're not going to give this one away like you did me. Hey. Is that a fear? Everything okay? Yeah, fine. Everything's perfect. So, honey, you ready to go? I'm so ready. Yeah? Yeah. Harley, um, uh, let me talk to you. Of course. What happened? What happened? What happened is she found out about the baby. She knows everything. I can't 
send her home now, Philip. I can't. Well, Frank is right about one thing. You're doing nothing to help yourself. Well, we're just supposed to let Annie get away with this? Well, you should have just kept your mouth shut until we're I got here. We're defending ourselves against false charges. Well, you've done more than that. You've antagonized the interrogating officer. <sighs> what the hell did what? you do to my sister? Oh, George, it, it wasn't me. Can Honestly, I help God, you? It wasn't. Yeah. I'm George DeMarco. I'm Perry's brother. The hospital won't tell me anything. What the hell happened? Your sister's partner. I'm Detective Cooper. Right now, her condition is still under investigation. You were there when they found her unconscious, weren't you? I read about that in the paper. George, I haven't lied. This lady comes to Detroit to, to see me, pretends she's some sort of friend of Terry's, is asking all kinds of questions. But from what I hear, the two of you had it in for her all along. Mr. DeMarco, you don't understand the situation. Yeah, I do understand the situation. You and Reva put Terry in that coma. No. Damn you! No! Damn you! All right, George, 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 over here. I'm going to listen to this. You behave yourself. I don't know how, but Annie did something. Alan must have helped her. Alan has always helped Annie. Well, then Aunt right? Alan must know where Annie is. Well, then we have to go find her before she disappears oh, again, what? right now. And you think Frank's going to let us just waltz out of here? He thinks we're nuts. Leave it to me. Annie, thanks to us, Josh Lewis is about to become the laughing stock of Springfield. And we, of course. We'll be laughing the loudest. <laughs> Tell me something. Does it bother you at all to see the man that you once loved lose his company and his dignity? Hmm. He had his chance with me, and he threw it away. I would like nothing better than to see Josh Lewis fall. And I do mean fall hard. Not Annie. I've never heard you talk about Josh that way before. Well, tired of wasting myself on someone who didn't appreciate me. Well, darling, I appreciate you. I know you do. That's why we're not going to talk about Josh Lewis anymore. I want to talk about you and me and our life together. Well, that would be lovely, but let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? Well, we've got planning to do, Alan. I mean, let's face it, if we're going to take over this town, we've got a lot to do. Well, yes, but let's wait till we get out of the woods, Annie. We are going to throw the most Amazing parties. I mean, people will climb over their own mothers for an invitation. Well, that all sounds great, Annie. We're gonna but I... Hollywood movie stars, and royalty, and power brokers from every walk of life. Except oil men, of course, because I hate oil men. People will read the society page just to see who's hot and who's not. And if you're not on that list of people that are hot, that's it. You're finished. You're done. Our parties are going to be so amazing that at some point we will start to affect the price of stock. My, my, but you have given this some thought, haven't you? Yes, I most certainly have. It's all I think about. People are going to start giving me the respect that I deserve. Wherever I go, they're going to look at me and say, it's amazing what you overcame. Annie, I am amazed. Well, I'm glad you say that, Alan, but that's not enough. It's not nearly enough. I mean, I want us to be the most popular couple in the entire Midwest, in the entire country. We are going to be international superstars. That is, as, as soon as your lawyers get me out of this mess. Uh, Annie, that may take a while. Well, it can't take too long, because once my feet hit the ground and I'm out of here, that's it. I'm going to plan the biggest bash you've ever seen. And it's going to take time. I'm going to need a week. I'm going to have to hire caterers Annie, and have my Annie, dress made. And... I don't, I don't think you understand. You're not going to be able to go out onto the street. Hey, what are you thinking about? Nothing. Did my mother say something to you? What did she say? She didn't say anything that I didn't already know. Hey, look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I left you alone with her. I won't do that again. Okay. Are you kidding me? It's just as bad as she is. Locking me up practically in that mausoleum last night and forcing me to keep up with this lie. You can leave if you want. You're only saying that because you know that I can't. Because Jesse and me and Bill and Drew would all be killed except you'd probably do it yourself to them. I put my neck on the line for you. Because it means that you and your friends are still alive. 
Michelle. Michelle. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Are you all right? I'm fine. I am. Sure? I've been so worried about you, Oh, I'm sorry I worried you. Where on earth have you been? When Jenny and I got married, we were afraid of the reaction that we would get from you guys, so we kind of disappeared. Um, I'm really sorry I didn't tell you about the wedding. You can come to the next one. It's true. So you really are married? Yes, of course. Would you like to see the marriage license? Yeah, you bet I would. Jenny? Yeah, here it is. It's, uh, it's all perfectly legal. Mm. Well, let me introduce you guys. Um, this is Mrs. Santos and Danny, my husband. This is Abigail and Rick, my brother, and my great aunt Nita. Uh, it's, it's a great pleasure to finally meet all of you. Thank you for accepting this invitation and sharing in this wonderful occasion. It was presented more as an order than an invitation. I'm sorry. I do apologize for Dietz's manners. He's everything I expected. I believe that you've heard rumors about our family. Newspapers, televisions, they always want to write stories about villains. Mama, you, you don't have to explain. Please, please, please spare us. We understand. No, I think that we should get this out of the way. The Santos are not killers or criminals. We're a decent, hard-working family. We've achieved some success. And so people are jealous. They make up lies. And as for this wedding, well, I was caught off guard as much as you were, right, Daniel? Right. <laughs> but I've already fallen in love with your lovely Michelle. And I welcome you all into my family. Well, um, thank you. I'm afraid we're all a little bit on edge right now, so... Well, I think we should get along for the children's sake. They need their families. I only wish my other son was here. No, no, no. But we have to move on past this tragedy. <laughs> this wedding will all make us very happy. Right, Michelle? I can't wait. Good. Shall we eat? Yes. Um, I did it. I don't want to talk to my sister alone. I'm afraid I can. I love that. Leave them alone. Come. They haven't seen each other for a while. Look at me. What are they doing to make you stay here? Up into the country club. You don't understand. They'll be looking for you. Look, I don't care. I have to get Michelle away no, from those people, Drew. Well, Professor, listen to her, okay? The Santos family doesn't fool around. Now stop. Well, that's why I gotta get Michelle out of there. No. Look, she's trapped. I gotta go save her. Are you sure? Now, what's that supposed to mean, Drew? It means you had your doubts the other day, Jesse. Maybe she doesn't want to be saved. Maybe they're telling the truth. No, that's nuts. Look, okay, look, you found them alone on the beach that night. Remember that? And what about them being lab partners behind your back without you even knowing? What about that? She doesn't love them, okay? I'm not going to believe that. You can't do the Spaniards looking for any reason to hurt you. Yeah, with a feeling mutual, Drew. Please, Dad! Let him go, okay? Just let him go. She answered the phone and got the message from Dr. Sedgwick's office. Oh, well, that's just the perfect way for her to find out. I should have just told her in the first place. Oh, Harley, she didn't need to know yet. Yeah, now. Well, this is great. It was going to make it like ten times harder for her to leave today. <laughs> She's not leaving. Oh, no, no. I, I can't make her leave now. Harley, her dad is here to pick her up. We don't have anything to say about it I anymore. Mean, do you understand what she thinks is going on? She thinks that we are sending her away to make room for the new baby. Oh, well, that's not true. Of course it's not, and it's ridiculous. And I tried to explain it to her, but she's taking this thing like a slap in the face. She really thinks that this new little one is coming in, and I am banishing her again. Well, don't say... I hate it when you say again. Don't say that. What you did for her was the best thing that you could do at the time. Just like letting her go home with her father right now is the best thing you can do is for her true? now. It is, is absolutely that really true. true. He is her father. He's raised her. We don't have any right to mess with that. I, I, what? I can't send her home like this. Harley. Not like this. Still, I don't want to argue about this. I want you in my corner. I need you to be in my corner. I, am I need in your you corner. not That's to not... talk to me about this and to just just to accept this to forget all the logical Harley. arguments and to understand that she is my daughter and I am breaking her heart. 
She will get over this. Really? Yes, she will. She... Really? I never got over the fact that my parents didn't raise me. Did you? All right. What do you want to do? I want her to stay a little bit longer. I just want some time to convince her that she is every bit as important to me as this new baby will be. I, I need some time to talk to her, to convince her that I, I'm not abandoning her again. I just need to spend time with her and to show her how much I love her. You know, it's not really a question of what you want, is it, Harley? I mean, after all, she is my daughter. Are you telling me I'm a, I'm a prisoner in this place? No, Annie, you're not a prisoner here, but you have to stay here. For how long? For a while. A while? Mm -hmm. What kind of an answer is that, Colin? It's the only answer that I could give you after what you have done. Now, I have gone to great risk to keep you out of harm's way. I understand that, Alan. That doesn't mean you own me. No, I do not own you, but there is a woman at Cedars whose face you have stolen. Now, if the police spot you, they will take you off to prison. And we both know how much you love being behind bars. Oh, yeah, about as much as I love being caged up in I'm this place. I'm aware of that. Now, you must stay here where you are safe. Uh, can I at least just wander around the no, house? No, no, you cannot. I don't want any of my family to know you here. They cannot keep this secret. Well, that's just great. So I'm stuck up here in this dark, dingy attic with nothing to talk to but the mob? Believe me, you will find it much better than a jail cell, Annie. Have you looked around at all? Look at this place. It's, it's dark and it has cobwebs. Look, I haven't had a chance to prepare it for you, but I will make it spectacular for you. How huh? are you going to do that, Alan? Move it to the south of France? No, but I'm going to make it a palace where you will have everything you want and you need. Except freedom. No. No, you will have freedom. You will be free of not playing the games you played for the last month. You will be free to be yourself. And I will take care of you. Oh, you will? Yes. Really? Yeah, well, you know what? I don't want to be taken care of. And it's what we've always wanted, to be together forever. How long, Alan? How long do I have to stay locked up in here? Until all of this is over, and then... You're not answering my question. How long before you let me out of this dump? You're never going to believe any of your crazy accusations. Why is that, Frank? Because it would mean the woman that, that, that you've been calling your partner all these months is really Annie Dutton? It's not somebody you, you've grown close to, someone you've developed a relationship with, that's Frank? Not, Josh, it's unthinkable, isn't it? That this person could actually be the same woman that's been terrorizing my family. You're scared, right? You're embarrassed. You don't want to believe it. In fact, you'll do anything so you don't have to believe it, including selling out your friends. They're Frank, crossing the line, the God. Is wrong you, with have, you are Why telling are you with that, it? Frank. You've sold God. out your friends. Jim, we talked about this. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to steal your daughter from you. Well, that's good to know. I mean, but I don't have a problem with you, Harley. Well, what is it? Me. I'm the one that you have the problem with. Hey, man, right? come on, don't put words in my mouth. Uh, you know what? You, you don't even know me. No, you're right. I don't know you. But I have met a lot of guys like you. Oh. Guys with fat wallets who want to try to manage everyone's life. Oh, that's fair. No, it's not fair. I'm sorry, but that's the way I happen to feel. So if you'll excuse me, I, Susan, I... No, wait a minute, you. wait a minute. Let me tell you something. You know, you... You may think that I'm just some rich jerk that likes to throw my money around and get people to do what I want. And you know what? Hey, Jim, that's okay. Because i got to tell you the truth. I don't give a damn what you think about me. That's not important. What's important is that my wife loves your daughter. Well, you know, no one's disputing that fact. Well, your daughter happens to need that love right now. She just put herself in the hospital because she misses her mother. Well, her mother's not coming back, but Harley is right here. Now, you know what? You want to get your ego involved? That's fine. You want to think I'm telling you what to do, making decisions for you? That's fine. But if I were you, I would reconsider and let your daughter stay for a while. If you love her, for both of their sakes. No. No. It's okay. I don't want to stay with her. Daddy, I'm going to 
going home with you. They can't force you to stay in this Nobody's marriage. Forcing me. Michelle, you're scared to death. You are scared to death. I can see it in your eyes. Drop it. Okay, this is, Rick, this is all payback from Nick's death, isn't it? They're trying to intimidate you, Michelle. I'm not going to let them no, do that. No, you have it all wrong. I do. Yes, you do. Danny found out what happened, what his brother was doing to me, and, and he's friends with his mother, and everybody's fine, Explain and I'm his safe mother. What about understand. Jesse? What happened to him? Explain that to me. I Go decided ahead. that Jesse was the wrong man for me, like you've been saying. I want you to look me in the eye and tell me that you're in love with this man. Go ahead! I'm fine. I'm really fine. Miss Bell, these are terrible husband. people. You have no idea what you're getting Look, yourself into. Look, it's my choice. It's my marriage, okay? I think you should leave. You think what? Go. Get out of here. If you can't fine. Leave, it's fine. Fine. I love you. You're my little sister. And I know something's wrong. I know it. Let's go. Come on. Good morning. Dr. Bowen? You know, you can dress this up all you want and be as polite as you want, but I know you, and I know how your family operates. Something's going on with my little sister. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to get her out of here. We can't always have what we want. We'll see. Help me. Let's go. And leave Michelle here? Let's go. No, I... Okay, well, the car's waiting to take us to the airport. So, uh, so up, Harley. Goodbye. Don't do this. Come on, honey. Hey, Susan. I love you. I don't want you to go. I'm Susan. You gave Daisy away. In trouble, Lou, too. listen to me. There's nothing you can do about it. What are you going to do? Now, you're looking now because Danny and the rest of his family don't know you had anything to do with Mick's murder. And if you lay low, maybe you can keep it that way. We told the cops, Nina. Yes, Drew, and Frank said he would keep it quiet. But we both know this is going to come out eventually. I'm not worried about that. Look, I thought about that. That's where I got these. Plane tickets? Yes, plane tickets. You disappear quietly. You get out of here before you get hurt. Why two of them? Thought you might need some company. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You, you want me to go on the run with you? Well, that no, wouldn't be my first time. I'm trying to save your life here. I'm not leaving everything I have for this. I mean... I can't just leave my club. <laughs> Everything you have, your club, you don't care about that club. That club was just part of your scheme to get Jesse away from me. What the hell do you know? I know yeah. what you told me, Drew, and I know that you want Michelle to stay with Danny. Well, maybe he'll grow on us. Uh. Listen to me. No, no, you're not going anywhere. Get over here. Listen! Now, I know what it's like to love somebody so much and not be able to have them. All right? It obsesses you. It takes over your entire you know, life. What? If I started to go down the road to be a drug addict, Selena, or a hooker, like you? You listen to me, you little snot. You think you're so smart. You don't know anything. You're a dumb kid. I'm a kid who's more successful than you'll ever be. But bravo. With your father's money, I'm real impressed. Look, none of that means anything if you're not happy and safe, or at least alive. I don't care what you say. I'm not leaving. You are leaving. You're risking your life here. Well, you got one thing right. Jesse is all I want, and I'll risk my life to have him. 
please, please don't. I can't help it. I'm in love. Do you understand? The feelings I have for him are the feelings I've never had before. I feel like I think about him and I could start laughing and I won't be able to stop, Selena. I feel so hurt that he's not mine, that I cry myself to sleep, okay? And I've never been in love before and I don't want it to end. If I let this go, the best piece of me will die with it. Do you understand that? Do you understand what it's like to love someone that much? Yeah, I do. something special. He just won't admit it. All right? Maybe he doesn't even know it. You said you wanted to help me. I do want to help you. Then do it. Help me when does his heart. I will, Angel. I will. No, look, I have to see you. I need to get some answers. Yes, you're risking both of our lives here. I don't here. care, okay? You still love me. If you tell me that you don't love me, I will walk out that door and I will never come back. I promise. Well, that depends if you understand how important it is for you to stay hidden. Do you? Yes, I understand. Good. Because as long as you are a fugitive, you must stay here. But don't you worry. I won't let anything happen to you. Hmm? I'll be right back, Tom. Thank you. 